Hey guys, it's Mina, and today in this video I'm going to do a knitting tutorial because I haven't done one in like so long. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a ribbed scarf. So what you're going to need is some worsted weight yarn, a pair of size 8 knitting needles, some scissors, a size H-8.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pencil and a piece of paper, or in this case a row counter, but I don't have my row counter with me right now because I'm using that for another project. So yeah, I'm going to get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. Let me just move this so it doesn't pull over. We're going to take our yarn. We're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to put it onto the needle, but don't pull it too tight or else it's going to um, be really tight and you can't, won't be able to knit into it later. And we're going to cast on 18 stitches. Two, three, four, five. And if you're interested in getting the pattern, I will put it down below. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wait a minute. Yeah, I had it right. Sorry, I had to make sure I had the pattern right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to knit in the double rib stitch. And to do the double rib stitch, we're going to I want to make sure this is in focus. Knit the first stitch. I mean, first two stitches. And if you want to see like the how to knit uh, knit and purl stitch videos, I will put those down below. We're going to knit two stitches. And then what we're going to do now, after we've done that, we're going to bring the yarn in front and we're going to purl the next two stitches. Okay, and then you bring the yarn it back and you're just going to repeat, repeat the process until you finish the row but while with moving the yarn back and forth. Sorry, that was my phone. Okay, now I finished the first row. I'm going to do one more row just to show you guys how it works. So we mark it down. And normally I do use my row counter, but I'm not using that for another project right now, like I said before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the total opposite of what we did on the other side. We are going to start by purling the first two stitches.
and then we knit the next two stitches. And my foot is itchy. Sorry, that was random. <laughs> Not now, I'm filming. What? Sure. Okay. Sorry, that was sorry, I had to tell my mom something. Okay, and then we take our pencil and then we mark down our second row. So you're going to repeat this whole process until you have about 306 rows. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in part two. Bye.